Yeah, good evening everyone. Good evening, sir. And I am most excited to be here on this platform. A small man on a big platform, right? Yeah, thank you once again for the TEDx team and all the members of the VJIT who has chosen me for one of the speakers for this program. So as our uh, Raghugaru has said, I am also born, bought up everything from Hyderabad only, right? And a purely Hyderabad and Hyderabadi biryani person only. Right? <laughs> right, very nice of it. Yeah. But uh, double, double kabita, yes. Raghu has missed it. Okay, we'll have it double kabita. But we are already filled with the sugar factory in our body. So I don't take the word double kabita. Right. Yeah. Thank you once again. So, so I, as I said, that I have been born, bought up everything in Hyderabad. And it's my pleasure to take you all to the story of a resilience, dedication, hard work, passion towards our work, right? The people, there are a lot of people who are there with a lot of passionate okay. work. So I too am a passionate okay. towards the wind turbines from a lot of uh, years, maybe from 1991 onwards, where in my college days, I have done the project on the small wind turbine only in 1991. <laughs> so that wind turbine has made me a passionate and towards that passion, it has given me the today's future, right? Today, I am doing the business in the market of the wind turbines and which is the only one product in the world to be named as the rooftop wind turbine. So during this part of this journey from 1991, where, uh, sorry, in 1990, so everyone chooses to be uh, like uh, what carrier we have to choose it and all is a part. When you complete your 10th class, whether to go to the diploma or to go to the ITI or to go to the IIT or whatever it is there. So at that time, it was a very hard time to choose for it. And at that time, my mother said that technical education could be one of the best choice where you can settle it in a career at a very faster pace. So then I choose to be a, take a career in vocational education. So vocational education is totally a skill-based education. Then from the vocational education onwards, in 1991, I took this winter, completed my diploma and did the project work in the wind turbines. And that was a fascinate and it is always there in my mind. So from the diploma onwards, then next what is the question. So we have been as a technical education, skill is the one which always gives a lot of confidence, lot of courage, never it gives us let go down. So anytime you want, when you have the skill in your hand, you can do any work at any time and earn your livelihood. That was my strong behave, belief. So I totally believed on the skill only. So never attended for any of the competitive exams or anything or any, uh, what you call it as a, a job oriented programs or anything. So I just purely depend on the skill and that skill has made me and brought me to this platform. So I'm very proud to have a skill with me. So that one of the skills, what I always used to see is that we see a lot of people who are making a, a artisans. There is a lot of artisans who do the spot making, or uh, carpentry work or anything out of it. And you see that in their families, there is never an unemployment problem. But whereas in other cases, you see that there is a lot of unemployment, unemployment, unemployment keeps seeing that we run across the job. But those people have never seen that carrying an application for a job or anything. So that really inspires us. So why can't we learn a skill? So that's how I learned this skill of being into the technical education and then that has been brought me and continued to be my education. So after that, in 2003, I started a company called Associated Engineering Services, where a special type of service called a non-destructive testing, like how a doctor performs an examination, like he does an X-ray to our body, he does an endoscopy, he does all this, whatever the doctor performs the test. So I used to perform the similar tests on a non-living things, like railway tracks. Today you are traveling in a train safely, that is because of this non-destructive testing only what we do. The rockets have been launched into the spacecraft. They do the testing. That is called the non-destructive testing. All those tests, I learned it. And then I started performing those tests on various objects to various clients, including a bigger clients like HPCL, Indian Oil Corporation, Reliance, Indian Railways, BHL. For all these people, I used to give that services on the non-destructive testing. So that non-destructive testing being a unique service, has given me, has taken us to the award till the Prime Minister. The recognition has gone to the level of the national importance and I have received the award from the Prime Minister of India 
in 2014. So, yeah, thank you. So, after that award of 2014 also, the skills have become, the vocational skills have become, the government is also today focusing more on the skill development. So, I have received this award continuously with various organizations for almost five to six years. So, I am the only person who has been nominated every time for that award. So, later in 2018, so I, start, I told everyone that I will not anymore receive this award for myself. It should be given to the next people. And from that time to this time also, there is no one who again got this award back or anything like that. So, award is one part of it. But what I want to convey here with this platform is, the skill is the one which always takes you to any place. So, that's how at the time in the beginning part of it to choose our career, we don't have a Google or anything with us. So, we, we have to depend on someone who is an experienced person who can guide us, who can tell us where to go, where to reach and all. But today Google is there. Again, Google has again helped us to find out this product because I am fascinate towards wind turbines. So, in the search engine, I could see this, this beautiful wind turbine developed in Netherlands and bought into the Korea by a scientist called Rhinus Merimatas and this project is lying for a long time, since 20 years and it has not come into the market. So what I have done is that I have been able to contact this company and then I have popularized across the globe including in one of the mails or anything. Obama has wrote a mail to our company stating that this is a wonderful project about it and this need to have to be taken into the market in a very wide way. But of course, when we want to take a project or when we want to make it into a big part of it, you require a lot of policies which should be into the place because these products are rotating components like wind turbine and all those things, they rotate a very fast way. When you put it onto your roofs or anything, these rotating components can open up and then cause a safety part of it. For that reason, you need to have a lot of uh, what you call a public safety part of it. So the government is looking at the, making a policy till that time, so we cannot do any business out of it. So this is where we got stuck into it, but still we are trying a lot of efforts to make this product into the viable. So now coming to this, how this wind turbine, a small, uh, what you call it as a small thing, there is nothing big thing to understand about this uh, product. So you can see the simple way. This is a very old technique where earlier days, the farmers used to bring the water from ground to the up they used to make a screw and through that screw the water used to come up. So when we see this small screw when they are making the water to come up, so we thought why can't we bring air also in the same fashion and do it. Earlier days you would have seen the small three blade wind turbines and all in every places. That wind turbine was being what you call invented or developed almost 10,000 years back. From the 10,000 years back to till date, we have seen many colleges have come up, many IITs have come up, many things have come up, but the new design of wind turbine has never come up into the market. So we are the first people who have done this design. We means we, there is a team of scientists from Netherlands, Korea and our company together have designed this new concept of the wind turbine using a small thing called this water, lifting a water from top to bottom. But same technique we have used, why can't we lift the air also from top to bottom? So that made a very wonderful and if you see the conventional wind turbines of three blade wind turbines, our wind turbine gives more than a 75% higher efficiency also. So this is what is our concept and we are now doing this same wind turbine and this what I could see is that from a occasional education where that occasional education making a small project of wind turbine today is giving us the future, our business everything. So we get a very surprised. Is the past telling us about the future? So our past experiences are giving us the today's livelihood. So this is what is what I could see it. So never uh, what you say is that uh, we should not uh, forget about our skills. And skill is the only way where you can go up to a different heights or different levels of the future. So definitely believe in your, yourself and believe in the skills. So that can lead you to anywhere. Thank you very much.